Hi everyone. I hope you're well today. We're working on a series looking at this little mind inside our head, pondering how we can go beyond it. Now we're going to observe it in more detail. In this session we'll look at how the mind is labelling and constructing its own reality in an ignorant manner. First of all, close your eyes. Have a deep breath. Continue to become accustomed to the practice of becoming still and quiet. Placing yourself in a scene, wherever that may be. No matter what is happening, around you, being able to listen to the sounds that describe movement, things happening around you. while you yourself have become still and quiet. Not only are we practicing being observant outwardly, We practice inward awareness and observation. Take your mind away from the larger space now and focus in on the sensations of the body. feeling of this body right now. You could be on a train. You could be in a prison cell. You could be in a hotel way up high. You could be underground. Your body feels as it is right now. Get a sense of that. A solid sense. Now more subtle awareness, focus on the feeling of your resting breath. It is a small, natural, unaffected breath. You are not influencing this breath. You are observing it.
Now relax, have a deep sigh. You can see now that by utilizing the tool, the practice of being present, which involved you directing your conscious attention to having an awareness of the space and an awareness of your body in the space, the feeling of it, and an awareness of your breathing, the breathing in the body, in the space. And by directing our attention in this way, we can then distinguish where our mind is at. Where has your mind been in the last couple minutes and even now? How stable are you? That's what we want to see. Open your eyes. If you can distinguish that your mind is not stable, if you cannot actually stay with this practice, what we're doing right now, what we're working on, especially if you're tired, for example, or really wired. Well, it's really important for you to see that. It is that way because of the way you are choosing to live. It's so important here, we need to be able to see our mind. And if you don't have the capacity to concentrate, well, you need to practice and develop that. All right, close your eyes, have a sigh. Let's have another couple minutes to think about that.
have a deep sigh. All right. Open your eyes. So we're looking at this mind of ours. What it's doing. How it works. And how it is very limiting and counterproductive in its uh, mechanisms. So, we're looking at the idea of that the mind labels and constructs everything in a false way. So its job is to label and construct. Your mind sets up a three-dimensional picture or image which it believes is true and real and it believes that it is a person existing in this three-dimensional reality and then it worries about that. And then all emotions come from there. Fear and control. Now, when we have been talking about ignorance, this is important because we need to distinguish that the mind is imposing structure on a reality that actually does not have that fixed structure. And this is where we raise the topic of what is called emptiness in Buddhism. This is a very complex or difficult topic and I won't go into it in that much detail now. So, you might have heard of the, um, the Taoist or Buddhist little, little expressions or ideas to explain insight. The one that says, the sound of one hand clapping. What is the sound of one hand clapping? And what it is in terms of this discussion today is the notion that your mind and my mind, each of us, what our mind does is it imposes the notion of true existence onto the picture of the world that we see. And the idea of the sound of one hand clapping is that there is no sound. And it is not connected or connecting. There's nothing on the other side. Two hands clapping has something that meets it and creates sound. One hand clapping is my mind and the, all the stories it makes up imposing onto reality, but actually that reality is not there. It just goes through forever. There's nothing. There's nothing there. It is not true or real what our mind is imposing and constructing. This is not easy to look at. Um, so, I don't mean simple things like the way we confuse stuff, like where we misinterpret what someone's saying. I mean on a much deeper level, the whole existence of ourselves in a three-dimensional reality. So when you can see that this little mind inside our head is constructing this whole picture and imposing like a thin sheet true existence onto that image, even though it is doing that falsely, if I am able to recognize that, this gives me a new open. This is where we need to become the watcher. The watcher of this little egoic mind. So I can see myself right now where I have superimposed a reality <clears throat> And there's a part of my mind that holds on to that as truth. 
But there's another part of awareness that is aware of that action. And it recognizes that it is not true. That watching element that has the insight to recognize that my egoic little mind is falsely constructing reality. There's the opening. You have to see yourself doing it. You have to explore that feeling or idea. Let's try it. You can close your eyes if you like. It may be easier. This whole world that you think is here, that you can feel, it feels like it's here. You feel like you have a body in a world and a head and you feel like there's a mind and it's thinking and it has constructed this whole thing and there's a part of you that can observe that happening and see it as not true. Give it a try. a sigh. Usually you could see that we don't need longer than that because we're just going to drift off into thought anyway and miss the point again. So, you know, we don't need to spend five or ten minutes doing that. In fact, usually you need the first half minute and then that's about it. You've lost it. Um, or we do it this way. Let's try it again. So, close your eyes. The feeling of this whole reality as a construct of my mind, I label it in every way, but in particular I label it as true, truly existent, the way that it appears to me. Now that whole little world that comes from my little mind we can be aware of ourselves doing that. You can be aware of your mind holding up a structure of reality. With the insight that it is not true. Sigh. How did you go? Um, you're very welcome to submit questions and then maybe in future sessions I can try and answer them. All right. I was going to try and give you one more go at the sound of one hand clapping, the empty 
silent sound of one hand clapping. Let's try it again. Close your eyes. Try to feel that your mind is imposing upon the whole existence of the universe, whatever you perceive, that you are doing a one hand clap. Your mind is putting a layer of true existence onto billions of little molecules and atoms that are not structured inherently the way you think they are. So you are drawing onto all of this space a picture. See if you can feel yourself the sound of one hand clapping. It is not meeting reality. Reality is not this three-dimensional structure. You are imposing that with your mind like drawing a picture on a piece of paper that isn't there. And then have a sigh. His Holiness, the Dalai Lama, how to see yourself as you really are. Teachings on emptiness. If you do not have insight into the way you, yourself, and all things actually are, you cannot recognize and get rid of the obstacles to freedom or happiness. Without insight, you cannot address any problem at its root or remove the seeds that might produce it in the future. Ignorance exaggerates the status of everything. And then we have emotions that come in response to those exaggerations. It is crucial to identify and recognize different thought processes. Our senses contribute to our ignorance. It is essential to observe your mind to discover how its mistakes are being conceived and how other destructive emotions arise from ignorance. When you see that all troublesome emotions, and indeed all problems, arise from a basic misunderstanding, you will want to get rid of such ignorance. The means to accomplish this is to reflect on reasoning that reveals the superimposition of a belief in inherent existence to be totally unfounded and then to concentrate on the emptiness of inherent existence through meditation. In many ways, that doesn't have to be fluid, that all those little bits I read then, little excerpts. We just want to keep exposing you to some of these ideas and re-emphasize what we are suggesting, what I'm suggesting, what His Holiness is suggesting. This is, these are the teachings of yoga and Buddhism, which is yoga. All we're going to do is keep trying to look. Have a sigh.
let's just have a couple minutes quiet reflection. another sigh. If you're struggling to understand this, or if you're just trying to understand it, remember, be the watcher of your little mind, which is making up a story about a whole world right now. It feels like it's in this world. And whatever we're talking about now, we could be talking about the football, it doesn't really matter. Be the watcher of this little mind who has constructed a world, a universe, all wrapped around itself, acting like it is true and real, what it is seen. completely oblivious to that, completely unaware of itself doing that, or unwilling to look, and be the observer of that. That's enough for today. We'll keep going. We just look at little bits, bit by bit, step by step. Um, you may want to re-view some of these sessions, particularly as you keep going, if you're also doing the stretching and the breathing, then your mind will be changing and you will start seeing things more. So when you go back and listen again, you'll, you'll suddenly be surprised and go, ah, I see what that means a bit more now, now that you have more context. Thank you very much for today. Not easy work necessarily, but hopefully beneficial or worth doing. We don't know where we're going to get to with this stuff, so hopefully you keep coming along this journey with me. Please like these videos, press click like on the YouTube channel, and that's how YouTube will then spread them around. If no one likes them, if hardly anyone's watching them, well, they pretty much just disappear and are not of great benefit. Okay, thank you. All the best.